In Kenosha, Wisconsin, gunmen opened fire on a crowd of Black Lives Matter protesters late Tuesday, killing two people, injuring a third. Oh my God! by a bystander shows a young man with an assault rifle being followed by a crowd of protesters. He falls to the ground before shooting into the crowd as protesters attempt to disarm him. Kenosha police said early Wednesday morning armed vigilantes, they called them militias, have been in the streets and they're looking for a man with a long gun. That's a white man with a long gun. No arrests have been made yet, and those killed have not been identified. The violence came on the third night of unrest in Kenosha following the police shooting on Sunday of Jacob Blake, an unarmed 29-year-old black man. An officer shot Blake seven times in the back as he was getting into his car. His three young children witnessed the shooting. Blake was reportedly trying to break up a fight between two women before the shooting, but the police have not explained why they went after him at all. He remains hospitalized in serious but stable condition. His lawyer said Tuesday he's paralyzed from the waist down. He had a bullet go through some or all of his spinal cord, at least one bullet. He has holes in his stomach. He had to have nearly his entire colon and small intestines removed. He suffered damage to his kidney and liver and was also shot in the arm. Members of Jacob Blake's family spoke publicly Tuesday for the first time since the police shooting on the, for the weekend, calling for the firing and arrest of the officers responsible. And they called for more peaceful protests. This is Jacob Blake's sister, Letetra Widman. This is nothing new. I'm not sad. I'm not sorry. I'm angry. Mm. And I'm tired. Mm. I haven't cried one time. I stopped crying years ago. Mm. I am numb. Mm. I have been watching police murder people that look like me for years. Mm. 